By many yardsticks, the Massachusetts economy is booming, but for people trying to rise out of poverty, the great recovery from the Great Recession is running out of steam. According to a new report from the Mass Budget and Policy Center, the declining poverty rate has begun to plateau, as well as the rise in median income. To tell us about the trends is the Center's president, Marie Francis Rivera. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Marie thank Francis. Thank you for having me. For people uh, who, who don't know what the, the name means, uh, what is the Mass Budget and Policy Center? Sure. So the Mass Massachusetts Budget and Policy Center. We also refer to ourselves as Mass Budget. Um, and we focus on improving the lives of low and moderate income people through research, nonpartisan, independent research. Um, so we do data analysis and we also um, issue policy recommendations for the state. Well, uh, looking at the trends in, in this report, mm -hmm. uh, poverty in this state is, is not as bad as it is in, in the country as a whole. True. But, you know, at a time when, when we keep hearing how the economy is getting better and better, uh, why is that poverty rate flatlining? Yeah, so Massachusetts is a wealthy state. Um, things are booming. We're relatively prosperous. Um, those at the top are doing really well. Um, but what we see in terms of the poverty rate is that one in 10 people in Massachusetts are in poverty. Um, and one in seven children are in poverty. And what that means is, just to put it in real terms, for a family of four, that's living under $25,000 a year. And, and, and uh, you, you mentioned the children because um, what do you read into that, that, that there are more children because we're talking about this segment of the population? Um, sure. I mean, so we know what works um, and investments in children and investments in families work um, and we're not investing as much as we should be. Um, and there are programs that lift folks out of poverty, um, one being SNAP or otherwise known as food stamps. Um, you know, the earned income tax credit. So there are uh, places that our state and our federal government as well can um, increase and make smart investments that would lift more people out of poverty, including children. Now, now put that in context. When people hear, you know, the, the, the equivalent of food stamps and, and, you know, housing subsidies and so on, they think, oh, these are people that are not working, they're on welfare. But, but in reality, w w what are we talking about? Yeah, no, they're regular, everyday folks. And um, some of the numbers that we looked at, not recent, a little bit further back, but we see that these programs lift almost a million people, 920,000 people, out of poverty each year. Um, so it's a, it's a large large swath of our population. The, the other thing about poverty, uh, we usually have this notion that, that when someone's poor, that that's just a constant. But I, I imagine w within that large category, you must have people who are going through rough patches they go into and, and get out mm -hmm. of too, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, and one thing that we have seen that's really promising is um, in the numbers, if you look at people in the lowest rung of the economic ladder, um, that from 2016 to 17, we've actually seen incomes go up faster than the rest of the population. And um, something that we can attribute it to is a raise in the minimum wage. Um, so there are policies that we can put in place purposefully um, that will lift people out of poverty. This is BNN News. We're talking with Marie Francis mm -hmm. Rivera from the Mass Budget and Policy Center. Um, Marie Francis, uh, and the other uh, flat line here is about median income. Now, I, I imagine people on, on the upside of that might be doing pretty well. So what does that mean about the rest? Yeah, so median incomes are relatively flat, but in Massachusetts, they're relatively high compared to the nation. So right now, the median income is $77,000 a year, about, for the state. For um, Boston, it's actually 66000 But yeah, there are people that are doing very well at the top um, and folks that are stagnating. Um, 99% of the folks, yeah. Another report that uh, Mass Budget and Policy Center came out with is about what you might <coughs> call the tax burden. Uh, people who make the most money, they pay the most in state income taxes. But Phil, what's missing from that? Sure. So, I mean, if we're looking at our lowest income folks, our lowest income folks are actually paying a greater share of their income in state and local taxes. So um, people at the top, the top 1% pay about um, 6, almost 7% of their income in taxes versus low income people paying above 10. So. What's also interesting is that there's an interesting racial divide here in tax burdens as yeah. well. Yeah, so, so we know that there's a racial divide in incomes, uh, many other economic indicators. Um, so, 
you know, people of color um, tend to be less well off because of historical and systemic barriers, and they're also um, paying a larger share of their income in taxes. Now, it's interesting because even though they might not pay very much in terms of state income taxes, there are other kinds of taxes, I guess sales yeah. taxes, property taxes. Yeah. So, so the income tax, at least in Massachusetts, is relatively progressive, um, meaning that higher income people pay more um, their share in that. But sales taxes tend to be more regressive um, because lower income people, middle income people spend more of their money um, on goods and services, and property taxes are also regressive. What about other states? Is, is there another way of, of, of spreading this around that appeals to you? Sure. Um, so other states, you know, the states that we've seen that have less regressive tax systems um, have implemented different things such as a millionaire's type tax, which we try to do here in Massachusetts. Uh, and we've seen that the states that do have um, more progressive income taxes have a less regressive tax system. So it works. Of course, uh, there are legal difficulties about imposing that uh, millionaire's tax. Um, is there any hope that there's another way to, to, to get at least closer to that goal, if not all the way there? Um, yeah. So for folks that don't know, there was um, something on the ballot, the fair share. Well, it was bound to be on the ballot, um, but it was taken off by Supreme Court. Um, you know, I still think that we can raise taxes in a way that's progressive. I think we can raise the income tax in a way that's progressive. Um, yeah, I, I think there are still ways to, to figure out. Thank you very much for yeah, being with us. Thank you. Marie Thanks. Francis Rivera from the Massachusetts Budget and Policy Center.